Yes, uh, Debbie Shridhar, just, just explain to a lot of people who will be slightly puzzled at this, at, at this morning. Thinking, well, hang on, we're hearing that this new Omicron variant has mild uh, uh, sort of consequences, mild symptoms, uh, and I don't, we don't know many people who've got it. Um, we're, a lot of people are vaccinated. Why are we having to, to do these restrictions now? Yeah, so the issue with Omicron is it looks more transmissible. And if you look at how it's taking off, not only in South Africa, but in Denmark, but also here in the UK, it's likely to become the dominant strain. And the challenge is, it is it's going to find people who are unvaccinated. And there are enough in terms of absolute numbers that those people will put pressure on the NHS. And I'm just really happy to hear, you know, business coming together to find solutions. The problem we all know is that we've limited healthcare capacity. We have an exponential growth in a virus that causes hospitalizations and pressure. So how do we use vaccinations, testing, therapeutics, masks, other kind of measures to keep the burden off health services, but keep businesses afloat. That's the challenge for business and government. Yeah. If this doesn't work, could we be heading to a lockdown? Is that the next stage? Yeah, unfortunately and tragically, that would be. But I think we can avoid it. The thing I want to say about Plan B is we've had those measures in Scotland now for several months. We never removed face coverings here indoors. Um, recently went to work from home. The idea was also to have passes for big events. But I think, you know, we should see how do we use testing and vaccination together to make indoor, you know, let's say going to work safer. And so I think this is the kind of conversation we have to have with people. And the message to younger people that, yes, people who are appearing in hospital in South Africa are under 50 and their length of stay is less than ours here. But that might be their demographic. And that's the uncertainty we face. It looks like vaccines offer very good protection against severe illness, and that's the clear message, which is get vaccinated, get your booster, test regularly. And, yeah, when you're in crowded spaces, wear, wear a mask. It's, it's a pretty small thing to do and something that could have a massive impact in terms of making sure you don't get infected and you don't infect other people. As you say, there's, there, is a, there are inherent contradictions, aren't there? Because, of course, uh, in some nations, there is a different rule on masks. And, of course, the rule that is changing in England is that tomorrow people will have to wear them in theatres, cinemas and places of worship, but not in pubs and restaurants when walking around. Uh, so, you know, people have to decipher these rules, work out the contradictions themselves, and, as you say, try and keep themselves safe. Thank you, all three of you. Thank you very much indeed.